Welcome back everybody! Yep, Hogwarts Legacy. I'm gonna be doing a full commentary playthrough of it here on the channel. I've always enjoyed the Harry Potter books and the movies to a certain extent. I do just want to briefly mention that J.K. Rowling has really gone off the deep end here. Her thoughts on trans people are not okay. I don't, I don't support that. Obviously, everyone is welcome here, and if you missed the short where I talked about it, the Rug's pronouns are so gender neutral that they are actually adverbs. So, you know. <laughs> I don't appreciate where uh, J.K. Rowling went, uh, you know, with some of her political activism and whatnot, but that was not going to stop me from playing this, so I hope that you can uh, enjoy this as well. I am playing as a female, as I do with pretty much all of these, and I named my character Nodak Picard, just to go ahead and mix in with the sci-fi stuff here too. <laughs> I tried to think of a good Harry Potter last name. I was gonna go with Nodak Longbottom there for a while. Maybe this character could be like Neville's great-grandmother or something, but I wasn't sure. I thought there may actually be like a Longbottom in the story here anyway, so I didn't want to mess with that. Either way, I'm gonna be playing through this a little bit more uh, concurrently with the uploads, so be sure to drop comments and let me know what you think about uh, the tasks and what I should be doing in the game world, as I won't be just playing through this and then uploading it over several months. I'll be within an episode or two from when I upload a video to, you know, when I'm actually playing. So if you comment and tell me that I missed something in a specific room, I'll be able to actually go back and get it. And I do appreciate that sort of feedback. As always, many thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. That sort of support is really, it's rare and it is sincerely appreciated. That's all linked in the description if you're curious. Okay, now I turned this on, tweaked some settings, and then did the character creator and it just dumped me straight into the story. So here we are with the beginning of Hogwarts Legacy. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time began. George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. Oh, come on. After you. Give me some give me some dialogue options. Since I've been to the castle, would be good to see the old pile of rocks. <laughs> Ooh. Thestral? Pulled by a Thestral, maybe? Ooh. By golly. I'm already digging the music. We're IFR. We're in Had I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> And who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. Weird. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. 
Nor have I. Kind of a big deal. Of course. As the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. <laughs> I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. Hmm. <laughs> Government types. Have you seen this? Goblin I Rebellion. Have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Hmm. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Oh. oh my gosh! Let's hope he can apparate out of there. He get out of there. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, she's seen death. Oh man. Alright, yeah, he didn't make it out. some rain of fire stuff right there by golly oh man are you right you're hurt perhaps a bit take this it's Wigan weld potion that stuff will write you in a second Wigan weld huh let's see I'm using the PlayStation 4 controller, but playing on PC. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. That's... I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Whew, by golly. That was, uh, man, pretty incredible with the Thestrals coming into her view there. You can only see those after you've witnessed death. I was totally thinking that guy would just apparate out of there, by golly. Okay, let's see here. Nodak Picard is on the case. What? All right. We got some stuff in here. These shoes look terribly uncomfortable. This is the 1800s. Oh, wow. How far did that book take us? 
farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. <laughs> but Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. Oof. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay. So, let's see here. Path to Hogwarts. Mind your step. I'm trying, man. We got some gigantic dandelions here. Will he go faster? Oh, yes. Where this do you is. Suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ooh. <laughs> ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Oh, geez. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. Ooh. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Okay. Oh, he's running. I was gonna say, I like how they did the, uh... But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Heck yeah. Ooh. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh boy. If a, uh... What am I doing? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Right to... Oh, gosh. Wow. That enchantment was so weak that, like, a, a barely experienced wizard was able to break it. That's okay. Some players prefer to target and then move the avatar with the same thumbstick. Uh, okay. I'm not sure. We'll just have to see. Oh. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. I should say that as I'm playing this, like, I just turned it on, I built my character, and then it just went in. So if I end up, do have a, uh, like an intro before this, I, I went back to record the intro after the fact. So I am still figuring things out myself. You notice Nodak Picard, we are, uh, we're crossing the, oh, crossing the streams. A little bit of sci-fi. This is really pretty. We're close now. It's just ahead. Oh. Steady yourself. <laughs> My golly. <laughs> Maybe we should move fast, you know. It collapsed for a reason. Collapsed for a reason. What's that asking me to do? Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so it is targeting things. It's based on how I'm looking. I see. I don't know. We'll see how terrible that is as we go. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Get a goblet. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Got it. Right here. Shoe goblet. Start exploding stuff. Mini map uh, with me in the middle. Current objective is up that way. Okay, good. But yeah, I uh, I just turned this on. It did the character creator, and then it jumped right in. So I'm still figuring out stuff myself. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's already kind of telling me where to go here. Many thanks to the mini map. Ooh. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Nice place. Not even being facetious, like living out on a little island like this or something. I totally dig that. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Well, it's just a What's this? Ooh. Professor Fee! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Hmm. Thinking it's like a mirror? Like a mirror to the past back behind us? Name. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Wow. Sorry, everybody. Sleeping. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Intriguing. Stay close. After you. No thanks. <laughs> you, you can you can leave this one. Legs just dangling? Oh, there might be a little platform. Yeah, they got platforms. How many vaults are there in Green Dots? Hundreds. In fact, Holy goodness. we on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Why would are you- Are private entrances to the bank common at Green Dots? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. Why do you do this with your track? You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. 
It's a security measure. <laughs> Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. Wow. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hmm. On you, way. It's got random guards hanging out down there. I don't trust them either. Gonna have another interaction with the dragon. Here we are. Okay. I can't. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. <laughs> what a job. The guy just sitting there. Bolt 12. Thank you for your help. Feel like we're going to get locked in something. We should be looking for. I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Nailed it. Best of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Was it? Was it? Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelia, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh gosh. Oh, triangle. Oh, what happened? What was that? Steady your wand with the lap and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Interesting, okay. Revelio. There, I saw something. <laughs> Move a bit closer and try again. Okay. Ooh. Door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. And we're probably gonna get, you know, homicided, yep. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. All right. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Are we still in Gringotts? Did we get port keyed somewhere else? All right. 
Alright. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. It's counting down. Landmine? Can I touch it? What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Ooh. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Ominous. We can have a big old chess game we have to play or something here. Revenia. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh gosh, all right. Interesting little mechanic there. Something's chasing you through your process to learn. You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spill set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see dark areas. Yep. Hold right to and tap triangle. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. It's alive. Okay, so... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Protego enemy attacks, huh? Can you attack me? I'm supposed to protego your attacks. Oh gosh, all right. Good. Boom, got one. I don't know how I'm feeling about the aiming thing at this point, we'll see. Is anybody, you gonna get me? Hey, how you doing? All right. There we go. Tap right too. I didn't even think I was aiming at that one. Okay. Oh, got him with the protego. Protegoed him. Get like death. I get like death stranding vibes here, you know. built this into their bank, you know? Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Where am I supposed to go? I see. Okay. Lumos, what's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Wisps of magic. This is why people don't understand contrails, okay? Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Same thing. Activate the statues. Ugh. Oh, I have got to do. What was uh, that? Well, no, no, I needed. That's right. This. Okay. I suppose I'm on my own this time. And now, like this. Yeah, that one's up. Oh, well, I thought he was. Mine. Oh, there's a few. Oh, okay. Here we go. Hey everybody, welcome. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Shh. 
No problem. Oh, <laughs> it's promptly obliterated. What was it to block? It was just... Okay, we take a triangle. I'm gonna guess that I have like a limited amount of magic. Hold triangle during Protego to stun the enemies with Stupefy. All right. What was the band that sang Stupefy? <sighs> ah, I can't, oh, man, I can't place it. Uh, hang on, I, I need to consider changing, oh gosh, that, uh, that control. What was it? Camera relative targeting. I would like that to be off. Active targets with the movement of the thumbstick. Well, speed toggle. Maybe I do need that. Grants off-screen enemy targeting. See, I think I would like that. We'll see. Whoa. Somebody come get me. Oh, I thought I did the... Oh, okay. No, oh, come on now. What do I need to do to use the health thing? Oh, no, not that. Oh, there it is. Okay, tap down. Gotcha. Oh, we can, we're gonna bunny hop our way through this. Okay, so the stupefy doesn't actually take them out. But it does KO them for a second. Ooh, and then we get more damage. Oh, I thought I, sure thought I hit it. All right. Whoop. We're just going to have to continue this. Left three to sprint. There we go. Oh, there's the shape. Intriguing. Just gonna leave Professor Fig. Good luck, Professor. Hmm. Little bottle or something? Ooh. Looks like a perfume bottle from the 1800s. There you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Don't do it. You gonna be able to get it back out? Follow my lead. <laughs> we get to <laughs> getting real involved in somebody's business here, you know. Too well. I wonder if the path 
we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. Ooh. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. By golly. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Wonder what happened to her. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But sir, you shouldn't be in there. What? You can just open I it? I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <laughs> Seems unlikely. <laughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. See, you should have kept him out before. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. I doubt it. I doubt I'm going to be more helpful. Ah! Security. The wizard way. Okay. <laughs> what? Don't attack us, man. We're on your side. By galley. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Oof. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good music sting right there, by golly. Yes. Yes.
Cool. Okay, we're going to leave this one here. We'll pick up with Hogwarts and the Sorting Ceremony next time. Thanks for watching.